Good evening, America. My name is Poppy Harlow, and you are watching Pew News Theology Edition, America's most trusted source for non-fake, non-fabricated, accurate, and true news. John MacArthur, charlatan, fraud, fake, but does he also fabricate stories about his past? In a new story exclusive to Pew News, iconic civil rights leader tells Pastor John MacArthur to stop lying. John MacArthur has claimed to have been on location after Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated. John MacArthur writes, I was again ministering in Mississippi with John Perkins and a group of black church leaders in April 1968 when Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated in Memphis. One of the men leading our group was Charles Evers, head of the Mississippi NAACP. His brother, Medgar, had been killed in 1963 by the KKK. When news of Dr. King's murder broke, we drove to Memphis, and literally within hours after Dr. King was assassinated, we were at the Lorraine Motel, standing on the balcony where he was shot. And we were also shown the place where James Earl Ray stood on the toilet to fire the fatal shot. This narrative of events is being disputed by none other than Charles Evers, who had this to say in a phone interview. I know that didn't happen. I know when I heard about Martin, I was headed to Natchez in my car driving, and my secretary called me and told me that Dr. King had been shot. And I said, what? Ain't nobody with me, period, in no office. That's a lie. That's a lie. When asked what people should tell John MacArthur about this, he says this, tell him, stop telling that lie. Stop telling that lie. In a shocking turn of events, Pew News has just acquired an exclusive, an eyewitness who was there on scene to confirm that John MacArthur was nowhere to be seen. It is your own, Poppy Harlow. As proved by this old picture of Dr. Martin Luther King on the balcony with yours truly. I remember the events like it was yesterday. I was there on the balcony and Dr. Martin Luther King came out and he said to me, Hey Pops, that's what he called me. We were on familiar terms. Instead of Poppy Harlow, he called me Pops. And instead of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., I knew him also by a more familiar term, Dr. Martin Luther King. And I said, Hey Dr. Martin Luther King, what is up? And he says, I don't see any John MacArthur here, and not that I would know who that is. And I said, I know who exactly who that is. I also do not see John MacArthur here. And he turned to me and he said, Make sure that if I get shot, you verify that he does not show up in these locations, whoever he may or may not be. And I said, 10-4, Dr. Martin Luther King, because I knew him by a more familiar name than his more appropriate Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And he said, All right. And I said, Will do. And then after he was shot, I looked around, and I stood there for quite some time, and no John MacArthur was on scene. You've heard it first, Pew News, exclusive. John MacArthur, liar, fraud, charlatan, but does he also make up stories about his past? We report, you decide.